And this is A and B Convo's Wrestling, Wrestling Edition. Again. On, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, children of all ages, it's your boy A, your girl B, A and B combos, wrestling, wrestling edition. edition. But you already knew that because you're here. Do I sound good? Am I you coming did. in? Yeah, I'm coming in. Uh, we are a little fuzzy, it'll clear up. It is just Always an does. issue. I, don't ask me why, but it is what it is. But well, we here, baby. We here, and you came back like we always ask you to do. It's so good to see everybody. We're not going to take up too much of your time. Sophie Dophy, do not come for me in the comments. Every time I say that, for these predictions, because my predictions are money all day. First and foremost, before we get going, we want to give a shout Mod to the Mod Squad. Mod Squad. In right. the house. <laughs> Wise man, Jedi Knight 88. We acknowledge you. Yeah, Jaden Winchester. What's going on, what Jaden? Let's see, Sophie Dophy in the house. Mm, let's see, let's see, let's see. We don't we need have but any a couple. more mods because we don't need but it, a couple. That's know. all we got up in here. That's all we got up in here. Let's see. So far, yeah, I'm getting dizzy looking through these comments like this. <laughs> Man, there was a lot of conversation in here. I love that you guys are just such family up in here. I can appreciate Ooh, it. Oh, I see a, just Alex giving you a um, compliment on that intro for the editing you did. Uh, well, you know what? This is last minute thrown together because it's been a busy week. I've had a busy day. Uh, but I'm going to tell you right now. I'm going to tell you right now. Come back. Just slip in in the beginning. For our live watch along, you're going to see the open. Uh, but we're doing it. We want to give a shout to just Alex of Alex's World. A safe space for wrestling fans like you and like us. He is a friend of the channel as we are of his. Thank you, brother, for always popping in and showing some love. Give Alex some love, Alex. everybody. And also make sure you check out his post-show review after you finish with us. You know, come here first. We'll be all watching together. But I want to give a shout to first in line with that fast pass, Jedi Knight 88. We acknowledge you as a mild squad. One more again. For first in line. Sophie Dopey OG Triple OG. I see you in there, number two. That's all right. You came close. Jody Bennett. Woo! Uh -huh. What up, Jody? What up? Good to see you up in here. Khalid Mohammed, Wrestling Bray hey, Wyatt. Khalid. What's Wrestling, going on, yes. my friend? Good to see you in here. Joe Davidian. What's hey, up, buddy? Joe. I'm glad you popped in here. Who else do we have in here? We got Rickerty. Hey, Rickerty. Just one of we will see a guest appearance at Crown Jewel out of nowhere, RKO. Oh, I wouldn't be mad at it. Don't tease me. Don't, Don't tease play me. with me. Who is he going to RKO though? Are we talking Reigns? Are we talking Reigns? I don't know. Who who is he? Who's going to catch it if that happens? I'm actually really curious about that. I'm going to give that um, honorable mention right here to just Alex. Make sure you like the video. Every YouTuber says it because it is so vital to our channel. Mm -hmm. It helps get us out into the YouTube universe. So please, please, please like the channel. Thank you, Just Alex, for showing that love, bruh. Who else we got up in the house here? There's a lot of people up in here. We got a lot of people up in here, yeah. But I think in the beginning, there was a lot of in conversation right there. I know we said what up to Jaden. I know hey, we said JR. what up to JR Dugan. What's going on, JR? Rashawn Spiller, what's up, buddy? Hey, Rashawn. Fareed Saheed, how you Fareed, doing? Fareed, yeah. How you doing? Hi. Like, how um, you doing? What's, what's her name? How you doing? You know what Who I'm talking about. That? What's her name? You know, the talk show host who kind of lost her mind a little bit. Christine, <laughs> good to see hey, you. Christine, yeah. What's up? We are in the building. What up, Zay? Hey, Christian Thomas. Wesley Franklin. Hey, Zay. Hey, Wesley. Always a pleasure. Always oh, a look at all the fam in the house. Oh, I'm gonna go ahead and do it right here. As just Alex said, if you're ready with some A and B combos, give me a hell yeah. Hell yeah. I love saying that. <laughs> you know what? Should I should I should I get a Steve Weiser for? I don't drink, but you know what? I I think just just because I'm gonna I'm gonna get a Steve Weiser. As long as you don't think I'm drinking it with you, because I know I'm you're not. not gonna drink it. I ain't not gonna drink it. Um, all right, we'll give a couple more shouts and we'll get into it. Three Kings, what's up, buddy? What up, Three Kings? Um, I appreciate that. Love Nico Thompson. What's going down? What's up? Congratulations to the Texas Rangers. 
winning the World Series first time franchise history against the Arizona. Wow. Right. Congratulations. Okay. So uh, Texas Rangers, is that soccer or? Uh... Wow, you're not that bad. <laughs> no. I know who they are. I'm just kidding because I don't watch sports. <laughs> Except for this sports entertainment. Yeah, that's right. That's what I get down with the get down. Um, although I do watch a little bit of basketball. And uh, while I don't have a dog in the fight, um, let me go ahead and give a shout. Anybody can give a, a little nod to uh, the lake, the lake show. Uh, get it together. <laughs> get it together or leave it alone. I know it's baseball. That's all right. Why you look better with a mask on? That's hurtful. <gasps> Who said that? OG, triple OG. That's hurtful. <laughs> I did look good in the mask, though. You are right about that. You are right about that. Aaron Drew showing that love right there back Aaron at you. Drew. All right, y'all. So look at here. Wait, wait, wait. You missed somebody that you need to give some love right here. Who are we talking? Emily Brown? Emily Brown. Emily Brown. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. That's right, Just Alex. We do try to foster a family show. Uh, we try, we try to keep it clean. Jack Anoff is the dirty one. Betsy Betwetter is the dirty one. You know what I mean? That's where I let our hair down a little bit. But uh, Wendy Williams, thank you, Wendy Williams. How you doing? That's oh, who okay. Is. Wendy Williams, thank um, you very much. Dolly Harley, you didn't say acknowledge that person. Right? We got eight fifty. Big, Big boy. boy, what up, Harley? What up, Roland Bird in the oh, house? We got another. Oh, hey, Roland. We got another mod in the house. Spiky two nine nine nine. What up, Spiky? What up? All right, so let me. Anyway, Lawn Moore. Okay, I just want to make sure we're trying to get everybody. Kyle Fisher. Oh, at Aid Aiden. What's up, Nas and Ryan Eugene? See, we got to get everybody. I think I got everybody. So we are. I, you know, this is a stacked card. Stacked. Right? Um, because of where it is, you know they're going to come with it. I don't really know what to expect with Crown Jewel. I love it. I love it that we don't know what to expect. Are you excited before we start? And we're going to start with the kickoff show. Are you excited for Crown Jewel? This I want to know. Drop a comment before we get into it. Mm -hmm. Are you excited for Crown Jewel? Are you getting the feels? Uh, let me see. What do you got? I can't believe my birthday was a couple of days ago on Halloween. I turned 37 years old. Wilfredo Fernandez. Hey. Show some birthday love to Wilfredo. This is your birthday song. It isn't very long. Hey. hey. Happy belated birthday, Happy Wilfredo. Happy belated birthday. That's awesome, man. Congratulations. That is so cool. What did you dress up as uh, for Halloween? I'm, I'm actually really curious about that. Hello, Tony Khan. Um... Tony Khan, hang on. Let me let me do Tony Khan. It's hang on. Tony Kaname Karan. <clears throat> hang on. I just didn't say the whole name. We got a great announcement for you, folks. It's going to be really fantastic. We're going to announce All In. You can get your tickets. This is for All In in Wembley Stadium, year 3033. Get your advanced <laughs> tickets now. Back to you. My mom is also really excited about this. Yeah. For anybody that saw that comment by Tony Khan. That's going to be a TikTok. Am I lying? Am I wrong? A big announcement. Oh, 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 and we saw today on AEW, apparently, the Nature Boy, whoa, has signed a multi-year deal with AEW, and the official energy drink brother is none other than Woo Energy. I felt that woo energy Wait, when I dropped in the middle of the ring. He gently puts you to sleep instead of waking you up. Well, he better sign a multi year deal contract with God because I don't know how much more time this man has. I was about to say, multi year deal. Mm. You don't even know how. Where did he? Maybe you want to do maybe a one year extension. All right. Maybe do like six months at a time. That is so mean. You know what? We apologize in advance. I mean, we love Ric Flair. Don't get me wrong. But that last match was painful. <laughs> and I mean, for us to watch. I'm, just, I'm pretty sure he actually died and was revived in the middle of the match. And we, you know, just yeah, thought was it was rough. part of the gig. So that announcement by Tony Khan was complete trash. Do not care. Do not care. Do not care about the pre-sale tickets, whatever the case may be for All In, months down the line. Okay? Stop it. Give us a real announcement or don't give us an announcement at all. But we love you. We love you. Um, we will do a manager role. Tony Khan announces like a fart. 
<laughs> Tony Khan's announcement was like a fart in the wind. Oh my god! A weekend with Bernie Constable. I mean, exactly what that match. I, I don't know what this multi-year deal is supposed to look like, um, but hey, you know he's got to watch over Charlotte's man. I, I can respect it. I can respect it. You know, look over Big Poppy. You know what Charlotte called Big mm -hmm. Poppy? What'd you call me? I mean, it's a family show. A family show. All right. And I do not think that Paul White is back. I think that he just came out, you know, to show that he knows a giant too. I don't think that he's going to get in the ring. Shoot, if Flair gets in the ring, never mind. Strike that. Comment. Dylan Danger, what's going on, man? It's good to see you. And I'm fine with doing an announcement. You do you look, dude, dude, dude. Here's here's a pet peeve of mine. Call me crazy and I say it all the time. Don't piss on my shoes and tell me it's raining. You feel what I'm saying? Just don't do it. It, it was a whack ass announcement. You make it seem like it's 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 a huge thing. It is a complete letdown. Just don't do it. That's all. Yeah. Do better. All right. That's not a big announcement. It could be an announcement. It ain't a big one. Well, speaking of do better, let's go ahead and start. Yeah, let's get into these with these predictions. predictions. Uh, thank you all for joining us. If you just have, um, I don't know where Bone Crusher went. She she's nowhere to be found. Okay, well, forget her. All right, so we're gonna start off with the kickoff show. If I'm not mistaken, this is it right here. All right, this is this is it right here. We have none other than former undisputed tag team champion, honorary oos, if you will, of the bloodline, Sami Zayn, going against a really scary looking JD McDonough. My man looked possessed in this picture. Is it? Is it just me? Sammy don't look too nice either. Yeah, but he got that crazy look at his eye. Like he was on Halloween Havoc. Um, he got possessed by Alba and Isla Dawn. <laughs> either way, uh, this is the kickoff show. So I, I expect big things from this match. Um, I'm glad they have a kickoff show. I'm wondering, because we have a total, if I'm not mistaken, and there could be some stuff that's wrong. In fact, let me go ahead and get the ticker up. If anything is incorrect, let me know. But we have what one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight matches, including the kickoff show. Wow, that's a lot of matches. That's a lot of matches. That's like an AEW card. Because I believe their last pay per view had, I think, what five matches. So I'm wondering about the timing. I'm wondering about the pacing. I'm wondering if anybody's going to get cut short. We got a fatal five way we're going to talk about. But this kickoff match what do you think who do you got drop a comment ladies first who do you like you like sammy you like jd so here's the thing i i don't i feel like they gave a sammy a push when they gave him a push that and they're not giving him one now but i but and i feel like jd has been coming up short a lot so he kind of needs this one, especially if he's trying to prove something to a judgment day. And are they going to finally come out and interfere for him like he does for them? But if they do come out and interfere for him, because that looked like a judgment day uh, outfit he was wearing for sure. So I feel like they finally accepted him. And if they officially did and I missed it, my bad, been busy. Mm -hmm. But is this going to be the situation where judgment day gangs up on him and Jay comes out to his rescue and he finally forgives Jay and moves on. And then Jay then teams up with him and Cody because they're outnumbered. I like it. I like it. I like it. Let me give a quick hello to, if I'm mispronouncing your name, please forgive me. Um, Hung Gwen. Okay. Hello. It's good to see you in here. Uh, Dro, we probably will not be going to full gear, uh, but we will see. We'll never say never in pro wrestling. Uh, just Alex Sammy next. That's hilarious. <laughs> Moving on. Uh, we're going to move on. I think this That's is good. Funny. Zay's got Laura Farquaad loses okay. and Prince Harry wins. Oh, wow. Okay. Uh, let me go ahead and say this. I like what you're saying here. It's, it's, it, it blows my mind. And I've said this many times on the show. I still feel to this day that they, they jumped the shark on ending the bloodline situation. That could have ran much longer than it did. I don't know if they would still be together when The Rock returns. Because fact is, 
the actor strike still would have happened. So they still would have had time on their hands. So the rock still would have showed up. His showing up would have made more sense. But with that said, it is what it is. You had him as a member of the bloodline. You had him as undisputed champion. You had him just in the mix of the biggest faction in the last several years. Like it was said, to be reduced to the kickoff show. And now you lost your tag partner, which also was like this homecoming situation. And then they just moved him. And then you just moved him. Yeah. You know what I mean? So I'm I'm not really sure what they're doing here with my man Sammy. Clearly, they got a plan for JD. I, and I pro wrestling's about getting everybody else over, but you still want to do something for yourself. I, I don't love this match, quite frankly, but my money is on Sammy to win. I got I got um uh, or can I can I say um uh, Prince Harry? Yes, say Prince Harry. Hey, stop it. Oh, Bone Crusher has decided to pop in here, everybody. Let's give a shout. You know her. You love her. She's a Shih Tzu Terrier of Terror, weighing in at 15 and one ounce pound. Uh, are you, are you going to come up, Bone Crusher? Hello. No, because she's like trying Bone to figure crusher. out what this food over here is. Oh, yeah, you're not getting that. That's, that's chocolate. That's chocolate. You ain't getting that chocolate. All right, so I have... Sami Zayn and did you who did you say you had? Um Bone Crusher. There she is. I also have Sami Zayn, but it's with Jay Uso's interference. Okay, Brennan Bate 26. You getting that shout out? We acknowledge. You. Acknowledge. Thank you for popping in here. It's hard to keep the bloodline storyline going. Roman ah, doesn't want to show up. You are speaking facts. You are speaking facts, but don't get me started on that. I'll we will talk about Roman. At least I'm gonna talk about Roman when we get to Roman. All right. Wow. Because I feel a type of way about him right now. I feel a type of way. But with that being said, uh, let's give the ladies. Hey, ladies. Hey, ladies. Let's let's jump over here with the. Let's just get this out the way. Let's just get this out the way. Fatal five way. Um. Let's. Hello, Captain America. Thank you for your service. So we got a fatal five-way situation going on here. And you usually got to pay double for that kind of action, Cotton. All right. We got the returning I'm Nia so Jax. for this. Uh, the returning Nia Jax. The irresistible force. You have Zoe Stark. Call up from NXT. Do not sleep on Zoe. Queen of Spades up in the house. Shayna Baszler put Ronda Rousey on the shelf where she belongs. <laughs> Wow, you not spit on our floor, baby. Okay, but my point is, <laughs> took care of that business. You have Raquel Rodriguez, should be Gonzalez, because that's the only one that could take it to all these ladies. And of course, in the center of it all, your women's heavyweight champion, Mommy, Mommy Rhea, Rhea Ripley. Who y'all got? We should have did a, a collaboration with Alex on this prediction show. I was just thinking that. Um, you know who I got. You know who I got. Zoe Stark. All right. Well, wow. let's move on. Ain't nobody said none about Zoe Stark. Mm -hmm. I like Zoe Stark, but at the end of the day, mommy's always on top. <laughs> you just had to see. You just had to say it. <laughs> mommy. Oh my gosh. All right. Let me let me hey, see who y'all got. Shirt. I didn't make that up. Let me see who y'all got. Um, Captain America, thank you for your service. Just Alex your said, Rhea looks like as well. the bump. Yes, Brandon, thank you for joining us. Um, this I think is your first time. It was inspired by the bump because we did really like the way that it looked and we wanted to zhuzh it up a little bit. So, this is a bump inspired set. You are correct, man. Everybody agrees with me, Alex, Rhea. Emily, Wesley, um, Captain America. Why you haven't said who, who you want yet? I'm, I'm, I, 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 ladies first, read the comments, and then Brown Man from the Fifth Flow is going to speak on it. Brother Man in there? Oh, you're Brother Man. Kill Dixon, got Rhea, Three Kings, got Rhea, JR, Rhea, Just Alex, Mommy. Dang, dude. Tony Bennett said Mommy, Rhea. Three Kings said, this is going to be a slobber knocker by God. Okay, you know what? 
Rhea is going to retain until Jade Cargill. Okay. Anyone but Nia, my whole Jax. My whole! <laughs> Let's make that your, your text tone. Hey, Anthony. What up, Anthony? I swear they give Nia the championship. I'm a puke. Um, oh, Marie in the house. Marie, what's going on? Hey. Sammy for the virus. All right, let me, let me, let me, let me. Let me, out, mommy or Raquel. Let me, let me lay it on you. Let me or lay it on Naya. you. Oh, dang. You picked three of them. <clears throat> That's funny. Let me lay it on you. Um, no way in this world Rhea Ripley's dropping that title Oh, right no. I think the main reason they have Judgment Day on everything is because of Rhea and her and her amazing, um, her and Dom's amazing reaction that they get everywhere. Everyone loving her and hating him simultaneously. So I have no hopes for this match other than to see a good match. You have five contenders in this match. I expect them to show up and show out. You only have two female matches on the card out of eight matches. They have to show up and show out. That's all I care this about. This needs to be one of the longest matches they have. Because you have some legit, regardless of how we all feel about Nia Jax, and I think collectively we all feel the same, but she can hit hard. Rhea can hit hard. Raquel can hit hard. You have hard hitters in this match. So I don't want to see anybody phoning it in. I don't want to see anybody fooling around. I just want to see a kick-ass match. I want to see Rhea come out on top, and then I want the music to hit. Jay Cargill comes out, puts Mommy on notice, just like Rhea did when she premiered on Monday Night Raw, and then we all can get past this, and we can finally settle on where Jade is going to land. That's all I want to see. So that's how I think it's going to go down. Jade and um, Nia, Jade and Nia will be a nice match. I saw, you know what? Let's do. Let's let's. I saw Seth. Let's continue with the World Heavyweight Championship. All so right. here we go. All right. <clears throat> you have Seth freaking Rollins against the Scottish psychopath Drew McIntyre. My man has kind of been all over the place. Um, I want to go ahead and say this much. I've said this a couple times. I'm not I'm not overly accustomed that I'm still trying to get used to it. There's a lot of cooks in the kitchen, right? I'm usually used to one person going after one person, maybe two. But there seems to be a lot of crossover and everybody going for everybody for some strange reason. Drew has got a thing with Seth. He's got a thing going on over here with the bloodline. He's got a thing going on with Sammy. I don't know what's going on with Drew right now. He's a heel, he's a face, he's a this, he's a that. I don't really know. What I do know is my man took time off. He took his ball and he went home. And he said, here are my demands. Basically, he went on strike. And just like the actor strike, just like the writer strike, just like Kaiser, we have a list of demands. And those demands were met. And he came back. Question is, just like with Zelina Vega, and you saw that she got championship gold. You saw that she became your queen to be. So is this his time? Is this the man to she dethrone? She was queen for what, two months? How dare you? She was never dethroned. And neither was Xavier Woods. Facts. Xavier Woods' throne was tore up and thrown facts. in the trash. That's so, facts. So my question is, is this the man to take down I thought Seth Becky was the man. freaking Rollins? And I feel like Becky has taken him down many times. But I'm, shh, I know it's a family show. I'm sorry. My bad. Can you can you tip, can you talk to the people? Bone crusher, cover your ears. I mean, I guess it, but what do I know? First of all, he should have went on vacation with Shinsuke. So when is he going to go get his back surgery? And did why did they do this huge thing with Shinsuke just to bring him over to Drew? Why not go straight to Drew without tarnishing Shinsuke's reputation? It's it's very hard for me to call. I don't I was so sure that Shinsuke was going to win that I I don't even I have no idea. I have no opinion. Hmm. Interesting. Marie feels like there may be a cash in. Interesting. Well, Damien did say he was going to do a cash in no matter who won. Interesting. Um, hmm. Hmm. 
Anthony also believes there's going to be a cat. Huh. Tough call for Roland. All right. You know what? I was kind of leaning towards this. Ryan, Eugene, Lawrence Walls, what up? Good to see you in here. Thank you for joining us. Oh, also, before I forget, at the 26 minute and 22 second mark, my baby sister is up in here. I want to say, love you, sis. Thank you for always showing your love and support. Buying the merch. Get the merch, y'all. <laughs> Don't sleep on the merch because I got to disagree, homeboy. Yeah, if y'all haven't seen that shirt, you got to check it out. It's, it's a great, great shirt. shirt. <laughs> Um, love you, sis. Yeah, you know what? I was leaning towards this. I will say this much. I can definitely see Damian Priest cashing in, um, which I think is going to lead into that's going to be our next prediction. I am on the fence about the win of this match. Okay. But I will say, I think it makes more sense if Seth wins and then we get the cash in. And that'll push Drew that much further because he lost and now somebody's coming in to clean up the sloppy seconds. Drew put in all that work in the match, just kind of tenderized Seth Rollins, and then here he comes scooping it up. So I can definitely see three belts, Damian Priest. I don't know how he's going to rock it, but I like it. I like it. I like it a lot. Um, so let's go with this. That's insane. Right. I, it's it's not, it's, it's it, it, yeah. Yeah, it's not. I mean, well, let's, okay, let's, let's talk about it. Let's talk about it. Okay. Let's talk about the man, Cody Rhodes. Let me go ahead and say this. My son, Cody Rhodes, the house that AEW was built upon, his back, his blood, his sweat, his tears, daddy, called me up from out of the grave. He said, what do I do, Dream? I said, American Nightmare, go back to WWE. Bring home the title that your daddy never won, baby. And his Rhodes to that title has been wrought with detours. And now he's in a match against Damian Priest. Cody Rhodes versus Damian Priest. Before you give a prediction, let me go ahead and say this much. I don't like this match. I don't either. I don't like this match at all. I don't either. I totally feel that way about it. You cannot have Cody... You can't have Cody lose and believe, have us believe that he's still going to go on to beat Roman. You have to start building him now as someone who doesn't lose. And Damien losing what could just go into more like drama between the Judgment Day, which is what they've been wanting to do left and right is make us think there's dissension and then they come back together and they think there's dissension. So we need him to lose this and for it to be someone else's fault or he feels like it was someone else's fault. To go back to the tension. So I'm gonna say Cody. All right, you got you got Cody for the win. Yeah. All right. Um you have to. You cannot have him lose to Damien and then have us believe he'll beat Roman. Now Ryan believes that Damien should successfully cash in. Cody for Jaden. I can see a fail cash in setting with Judgment Day's breakup for big boy. Wise man has got Cody. Aaron's got Cody. Dro's got Damien Priest. First one there, Kill Dixon, Cody, Anthony's got Daddy Damien. I ain't calling him that. Uh, <laughs> that's funny, though. Something, something, Cody. <laughs> Marie's hilarious. Marie got Cody. Wesley got Cody. JR's got Cody. I got Damien for Jody. <laughs> Emily's got Cody all day. All day. Zay, Damien wins because Sammy turns heel on Cody. Interesting. Striker Wolf, what's going on? First time in here. Thank you so much for joining us. We hope you are enjoying yourself. Um, remind the audience to like the video, support in this video. Gets, yeah, you know what? That's actually really a good point. Mods, uh, take a look at what just Alex is laying out right here. It's actually really, really, really important. We say it. Please like the video. Really important for us content creators thank, thank you. you just alice for that it's reminder. an easy way to support us and it actually makes a big difference doesn't cost you a thing don't cost, cost you, you a nothing thing. 
agree this is a raw mid-show match cody should have gotten a higher profile match this is one and that and let's be perfectly honest here that's kind of crazy to say because Damian priest he held some gold in nxt clearly they see something in him for him to be the one half of the undisputed champion and senior money in the bank so the fact that we're saying this that's kind of rough yeah that's kind of rough but and the fact is you're not wrong that's what's crazy you're I'm not a fan wrong. of damien it, it's not that i'm not but there are too many people that are not he is not as high profile as 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 cody and cody is supposed to win he is supposed to go on to take that title we a lot of us still believe that's still supposed to be the goal that's so if we have that in mind we have to be for cody for the win in a match like this rickety says cody will always be mid cody will be the mid in wwe's eyes mm. do you hear the reaction cody gets when he goes out there do you see like his merch sells the audience is full of people wearing his merch singing his mm. song there's no way that they think cody rhodes is mid we got a lot of the cody here i also am gonna go with cody rhodes for the win um, it would be nice if Damien actually did win and he went on to cash in and he actually wins. Um, it would be wild if he tried to cash in on the tribal chief. I don't think we're going to get that kind of curveball. I think I can, I can see Cody being the world heavyweight champion. I mean, Cody, I can, well, I can see Damien being the world heavyweight champion and Cody undisputed champion at some point, but either way, this ain't it. Whatever this is. This ain't the roads to, to Roman Reigns, and I'm going to keep saying it. But the problem is Cody's a company man, so he'll do whatever the company says. So I don't know. Hey, happy days. Welcome. Hey, 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 happy days. What's she going said, on? Cody and Damien, she said, I'm kind of bored already. It's a threw together match for sure. Very diminishing match. We agree. Don't know why they threw it together. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Ladies and gentlemen, hold on now. Our reigning. Defending undisputed heavyweight super chat champion of the world is in the house. Three Diglets. What up, three Diglets? First super chat of the, the night. Well, you know, it's, it's down there, but it's, it's done. But you, you got what I'm saying. Circle message. And for those that don't know what that is, there's a show called The Circle of Netflix that we love. And if you don't watch it, go check it out. It's a nod to that. Circle message. Wanted to say. Why the heck did they sign Kyrie Sane again, sir, so she can get her butt kicked backstage and yell out, Asuka! <laughs> and cost her friend the championship again? No thanks. What an inconsiderate human being. That's a heck of a statement that has been made there. That, you know, that reminds me of the Jessica Rabbit. Am I really in villain or am I just written that way? <laughs> this is... Uh, the script, dude. I don't know what to tell you. <laughs> I I always think it's funny when somebody leaves by voluntary means or involuntary means with the yeah, ah! and they come back to the company. There has to be a reason for it, other than monetary reasons. You can make some good money, certainly, but you have a certain amount of freedom. You know what I mean? Like once you're out, you're out. And I generally stay out. So I'm hoping that her return brings some big dividends for Kyrie Zane. I want to see her get some vengeance on Nia Jax and split the wig open. I want to see that. I want to see Kyrie Zane pick her up and slam her down. We all know that's not going to happen. Thank you very much, Three Diglets. Thank you, Three Diglets. It's good to see you in here. I so like I how think you made it like cartoony. That's cute. Otis was Money the Bank winner too. Yeah, and he was robbed. He was robbed. He was robbed. That was that sucked. I mean, we always enjoy seeing Teddy Long, but that was that sucked. He was robbed. And I still feel a type of way about that. And right now, and right now, as entertaining as Alpha Academy is, they are a la who as the hers. Shoosh. That was pretty good. Shoosh, please. And I don't like it. I need them to rack up some wins, but that's neither here nor there. All right, what do we got here? Let's do this one. This is, this is I know, Just Alex, this is your favorite. I'm going to throw it out here. 
The Who did he have? Oh, I know he you. had. Just kidding. This is for you. This is just Alex's man right here, Logan Paul. Okay. He has been stumping for Logan Paul harder than he has for CM Punk. Logan Paul is your man. You know I'm just messing with you. Logan I know, Paul's today. Steve. I know how you feel about Logan Paul. I'm just messing with you. But we have Logan Paul, internet sensation, going against Rey Mysterio, your United States champion. I... <laughs> Alex said, and I'm out. <laughs> Don't take your ball and go Come home. back. <laughs> Come back. Um, um, I feel a type of way about this. I, I have some thoughts on this. Um, I would like to hear from the, from the lady here. You know how I feel about having a part-time champion. I've made it quite clear. And although there's a part of me that's like, you are not going to have a part another part-time champion when you already have one. However... They did not sign this dude to another contract under the agreement that he's never going to win a pay-per-view, never going to win a title. Why would he do that? That would, I don't think that happens. So do I think he's going to win the, I think Logan's going to win the title because contractually at some point they're going to have to let this dude get a win. Yeah. I, I gotta, I gotta agree with you on this. Really? Um, I got, we got, Joe's got Logan for the win. Big boy's got Ray. Roland's got Ray. Tony has got Dirty Dom to cheat. Make that MJF reject the new US champion. Um, JR says, I can't believe I'm saying this, but I got to pick Logan. Marie's got Logan. Marie says, Ray had best to win. What up, man? Make and Mako, good to see you. Hey, welcome. At Aiden, good to see you as well. Um, Gwen, thank you so much for joining us. Have a good night. We will be back at 10 o'clock Pacific Standard Time for the live watch along of Crown Jewel. We hope you're able to come back and watch with us. Yes. Um, yeah, I got to be honest with you guys. Um, I've made no bones about how I feel about the LWO. They've been good heels, but I prefer a, I mean, they've been good faces, but I prefer a heel Legato Del Fantasma. I still feel like there was supposed to be something happening between Ray and Santos that just didn't happen. And I'm not sure if it's going to at this point. Oh, like Santos causes him to lose, giving Logan the title, and then having beef between Santos and Ray. I think so LWO it's time. Goes heel. I, I think you. it's time. I think we all can agree how we feel personally about Logan Paul is one thing. But when he gets in that ring, He's damn good. He's damn good. It's time for him to get a title. And happy days. I believe that even though I understand this seems like it would be a slap in the face to Ray, and on many levels it would be, Ray is a veteran already in the Hall of Fame. We're kind of surprised he has another title at this point. And of course, as a veteran, you're going to put someone over. And if the company asks you to put over the guy who they brought in because he brings in a lot of eyes, you're going to do it. Like, that's just. But how it's going to happen. Right. I do believe a Santos interference. I like Dirty Dom. I do. But I like Santos because that jives well with their story. Mm -hmm. so it should have been have me. A heel LWO. Zelina so much better as a heel. I totally like Santos. And, but and keep, the chakla, keep the chakla. Keep the chakla. I want. I still like a heel Zelina chakla. But yes. Yes. I that's That's my prediction. Um, we will see some interference, and uh, Logan Paul will be your new United States champion. That'll be huge bragging and rights. I hate the part-time champion as well, but it is what it is. Mm -hmm. It is what it is. Three Diggles with a super chat right here. Hey. Thank you, Three Diglets. Circle, message. Everyone loved Otis before he got the briefcase. After he won it, people turned on him like a pack of wild dogs. Facts. So horde. Turn on them so hard, and it's really important to turn on somebody hard. Jack Anna. If WWE screwed over Otis, blame it on the people, by God. Logan Paul is going to win, and that makes me sick to my stomach. I feel you. And there the universe is. can be very, very, very sketchy when it comes to turning on people. We've seen it left and right, and you often see us when we're live somewhere going, 
why the hell is everyone booing this person? Why the hell is everybody quiet right now? Like, Liv we're, Morgan. We're, yeah, well, Liv I can't Morgan. they turn on. Liv was the biggest surprise. When everybody was weird about Lacey, I was like, oh, okay. When everybody started being quiet about Mark Carmella and it was just crickets, I'm like, wow, she, you know. But then when they did that to Liv, I'm like, how did y'all have some her back? Deserve it. Right. To like take the title mm. from her, booing her, like, yeah, no, nah, yeah. man, this audience is fickle. Fickle. So I like it. Three Diglets, thank you for that super mm -hmm. chat. That is our prediction. So we got Logan Paul. Oh, and by the way, what we did the last couple of times, we're going to do again because we never remember our predictions. So you're going to keep us honest, right? So Pidopi, we're going to be here. On either side, right about here, we are going to have A and B, our initials. And we're going to have whatever is the match, you know, whoever's up there. Whatever our initials are next to, that's who we chose for the win in our prediction show. Last time, my predictions were a little, a little off. Mine too. A little off. We both got like half of them right. I think you got a little less than half. It was a little off. Could have been better. <laughs> but I'm feeling a little bit better about this one now. I'm feeling a little bit better. As much as I don't like Logan Paul, he is entertaining exactly Ray all day. Ray, hey, Logan G. needs to win. So says man. Interesting. Mysterio loses to Logan Paul. I will hit the roof with anger. It would be such a slap in the face to Ray. Lord have mercy. Lord have mercy. 850 Big Boy, I agree with you about the bad booking on Liv. Absolutely. That was Rock absolutely on Shia Lee. That's hilarious. That's hilarious. Hey, you changed your avatar, Three Diglets. I like it. I like oh, it. Oh, yes. I mentioned that earlier. You did. All right. Mm -hmm. All right, folks. Let's go ahead and, and uh, rock this right here. All right. Let's rock this. Let's talk about this. Elaine with it. Let's talk rock about this. It. Oh, lean, lean with, with it. it. Rock, rock with it. it. Yay, yay. We have the also returning EST of WWE. The strongest, the fastest, the quickest. Bianca Belair against a member of a faction that we thought would be disbanded long ago. Yes, and they still rocking. EO will always be Shirai to us, EO Sky. Do y'all like this match? And who do you got? Oh, that's, that's who you got. This is my answer. Okay, wave it around. I whip my hair back and forth, whip my hair back and forth, I whip my hair back and forth. All right, so you pretty much just, just laid out, you made a statement. Made a statement. You made a statement. Um, yeah, you actually do look good with that hat on. I ain't mad at that, girl. What's up? Oh, I need a girl with extensions in the head. <laughs> Bamboo earrings, at least two pair. Fendi bag and a bad attitude. That's all I need to get me in a good mood. All right. Oh, sucky, sucky. All right, so you got Bianca Belair. All right, let me see who y'all got. E ooh, ooh, oh. Oh, interesting. EO retains. Bianca begins her turn to the dark side of the balls. I like it. I like it because right now the almighty prophets are all the Sith. I just went all Star Wars. <laughs> um, Mr. Tech said EO. All right, Dro. It's time to take that title from EO and give it to the EST. Marty so it says Jedi Knight. Uh-huh. Cliffy G. EO Sky. Zay, EO, nope, because Kyrie's going to be there. Interesting. Hey, Ravishing Pretty Richie. Okay, so you saying you think that she will be a factor in this match? Who? Kyrie saying. Oh. Is that what you're saying? Why? What's up, Ravishing? What's good to see you, man? Thank you for being up in here. Bianca wins. Wow, what a split audience. It is what an did interesting Alex split. Have? Uh, I believe you have EO to retain, just Alex. Yes, you do. Um, but she's not Marie is Bianca. agreeing with you. Happy Days is liking the matchup with the EST. Interesting. Yeah, you know what? <clears throat> hey, welcome, Kill Dixon, Joffrey, and Pat's time. Hello, hello. Welcome. I got to go EO to retain. I gotta go EO to retain. 
even though I don't, and I've said this, I'm gonna, why, why? That does her thing. I would not want to get whipped with that. What? Oh, that does. Hurt. I told you. It's <laughs> gonna sing to it. You know what happened to Sasha Banks? She was ripped open from my ass to her appetite. Oh, she um, passed, don't it? Yeah, you know what? I, 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 I mean, Eel delivers every time, but I, I can't say that her title reign has been phenomenal. She delivers, but it hasn't been phenomenal. The same kind of goes for Bianca Belair. I think she went there. She could have uh, went there a couple of times. She, it really could have been much better than it was. And thus, she had the title removed from her. I don't want to see her get this title again just to be ho-hum, just to kind of drift along. I also don't like, and this, this could just be me, I don't like um, title holders, heavyweight title holders, being a part of a faction, and they're just kind of like in the... <laughs> They're just kind of in I'll the background. Later. You know what I mean? Sorry. They're just kind of in the background. So I, I agree. I think we need to see a Bianca Belair turn. I think we need to see her kind of flip out maybe. Uh, so you One or two ways. Either she flips you. out, goes crazy on EO, or she's just like, I can't believe it. And then we see Lashley, Lashley, come on oh. out there. <laughs> I'm like, why would Leo Rush be there? I say, <laughs> come on home, sister. Mm -hmm. Come on home. Hmm? Stand next to your man. Stand next to the dominant faction. And we're going to get you that goal. Come on. We all are knowing this is going to happen sooner or later. Just make it happen on Saturday night. Okay. So that's how I feel about that. Um, let me say a few more. Eo retains. Bianca needs a character change because she's stale. Precisely. Jeffrey Reimer, what's up? Good to see you. Thank you for joining us. We got a super chat right here. And again, by three diglets, Jai Lee winning it all. Dang. <laughs> I know what you're doing. You stirring the pot. You stirring the pot. Well, let me tell you something. Jai Lee should, in fact, be somewhere in the mix. She should be a champion of some sort. Mm -hmm. I mean, she, she, I like Jai Lee. I really do. And I, and I hope to give her a push. But she ain't in this. <laughs> but I see what so you're if doing. she goes full heel, she's got to wear her braid lower down in the back because the top of the head is kind of cute and innocent and more spunky. And I feel like then if she has the braid in the back and she uses it as a weapon. She needs to, man. People need to stop pulling on this heel, thing. Then, yeah, I like that. That's what you have. And even just Alex says, by the way, her hair whips hurt like a motherfucker. I, I know. Yeah, they do. So I want to see a, a yeah, I want to see a heel turn. I think it's time for a change. If we can do it with the Street Profits and they were one of the biggest faces we had, they can do it with her. Uh oh, what made you snort? Just laughing at something I read in the comments by three digits. Anyway, wow. All ahead. right. All right. All right. So let's go over here. Do, 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 do. A returning, the greatest of all time, the greatest champion in the history of champions in all of sports entertainment. Or so they say. John Chena. John Chena going against the Bloodlines Solo Sokoa. Again, not really sure how I feel about this match. John Cena shows up. He delivers. My man pretty much has been in here. He hasn't missed a step. Does that mean I like his steps? Not necessarily. Ain't no way they're going to give him a win over Solo. There's well, no way. And he's only here to pe put people over for a short time. So there's no way. There's no way you're going to give Solo the L. They're making Solo look so strong right now. Solo does not. He, no. So you're saying, blah! I'm saying blah. Solo all day. Solo Sokoa all day. Mm -hmm. Let me see what the people got to say. Hang on now. Because we're almost done, people. The Fresh Princess of Bel-Air. I like that a lot. Sophie Dopey, you got John Chain. Now, Anthony's got Cena. Wise Man, you got Cena. 
Tony, you got to pick somebody. Got to pick somebody. Joe Solo, Jaden Solo, Fareed Cena, Tolbert Cena, Kill Dixon Cena, just Alex. John Cena sucks. Oh, wait, wrong song. Oh, Lord, have mercy. If you asked um, Nikki Bella, yeah. <laughs> or Nikki Garcia. She would probably say the Man same and thing. Mia, Michael Solo, Joffrey Wolf. Solo. Hey, Isaiah Smalls. Baby, baby. 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 Dylan All right. Danger Solo. Um, Clippy G. Cena. Mari says Cena in her mind, but Solo will win. Um, Wise Man has Cena. Godfrey says no way Cena loses. Maurice got Solo. Just Alex is going against the grain. Solo for the win. And three diglets says John Chang. All right. Here's my prediction. Um, I don't know. <laughs> I'll be honest with you. I don't know. Because here's my thing. I, I, I agree with Happy Days. I, I, I'm, I'm, there are a couple of matches on this card. I'm kind of scratching my head. You know, the Cody is one. This one is another. I'm, the issue that I have with the OGs coming in here is the predictability of them putting people over. Right. You feel what I'm saying? Right. I, I, I just, there are some times I just don't want that predictability. You know what I mean? I just don't want it to be formulaic. I would love, and I, and I, and I get it. I get it. I get it. Solo needs to win, but I tell you what, Either one of these dudes could take the L. I'm going with Cena on this one. I'm going with Cena. Why? Why does he need to win? Just because I'm hoping that they think outside the box. But what does he need to win for? What I'm what I'm basically getting at here is he's been in the mix with some big matches, right? And he basically has his win loss record is. He doesn't need. I I know he, he doesn't. doesn't really I know here. I know I know this. I know this, and that's why I'm saying Cena for the win. Hmm. Because this is also going to put, this is going to stick in the craw, if you will, of Roman Reigns. This is going to be a whole thing, because we already know that Jimmy's going to interfere. We know this. Mm -hmm. We know this. I don't, I don't want to see a super kick, oh, interference. Like a interference causing Cena to win and causing more, more tension in the bloodline. You know, like I want to see him interfere. I want to see him super kick Solo's head off. See, then he gets Jimmy out the ring. We get an F5. You can't see me. Whatever. Five knuckle shuffle. One, two, three. And it's all over. And now we got some stuff going on in the bloodline. That, I think, makes more sense in the long run. For the bloodline storytelling. So with that said, I got Cena for the win. I think I get where A is coming from. He's saying Cena needs to maintain some value. He's going to keep coming back and putting people over. That's all I'm saying. Because I do not like people coming back. I don't like anybody stepping to the plate and then catching a beat down. But especially the OGs. They should rack up some W's. And in this instance, I think it just makes more sense for the bloodline, the long-term storytelling, if you will, is that this whole Jimmy thing has been confusing for all of us. He's over here just, you know what I mean? It hasn't made any sense. Yeah. And Roman has never really addressed him getting super kicked by Jimmy. Right. So there's already that tension. We need a little more. This is how it's going to go down. That's how I say it. That's how I say it. All right. Who do we got here? Who do we got here? Um, oh, we, we are. Oh, wow. This is it. One more match, huh? This is it. This is it. Ladies and gentlemen, here it is. Which, you know, it's kind of a shame. I feel like this should have been the pre-show match and maybe the Sammy wow. JD should have been the main event. Wow. <laughs> Just wow. All right, folks. You know them. Some of you love them. Everybody tell you whose game it is. L.A. Knight. Yeah. Going against your tribal chief on the island of relevancy. 
Well, what did you just exhale? I was waiting to exhale. Girl, bust your head to the white me show. I wish you would. Roman Reigns. My white me show on the outside anyway. Wow. Okay. <laughs> LA Knight has been on fire. Fire, fire. I think we all can agree. Self-made man. He's been in the game a long time. And let me say this much, and I was thinking about this the other day, and I don't know if I verbalized this. Max Dupree would not be in this match. Feel right, me? Right, right, right. You feel me? Right. Would not be in this match. No. So this says a lot for LA Knight. I'm expecting a good match. A couple of things I don't like about LA Knight, and there has been some comparison, unfairly, I think, Everybody pulls from everybody else to try to form your own character. There's been this comparison with The Rock. I don't think their characters are anything alike, except the elbow drop. I don't like it. Now, The Rock does his whole thing, the thing, but then it's the ropes, the ropes, and it's the drop. He does just one rope and then the drop. I don't like it. I think that is too much of a comparison, too close. But that being said, who you got? Now, again, again, we know what this is for. So let me say this, which I didn't say for the other matches specifically. Winning the match doesn't necessarily mean winning the title. So let me ask two questions. Will LA Knight win the match will la knight win the title so you know i think if la knight wins that it would be so explosive and crowd you like th this audience is like they they react they're involved they feel some type of way um i think it would be crazy explosive just like it was when Liv morgan won um but are they really about to take this title from Roman and give it to LA Knight? Like just recently, they didn't even want to have LA Knight on the car on like, <clears throat> what was it? Two or three months ago, they weren't even trying to give him anything. So I'm going to believe that they're going to let him skip all the titles and go straight to Roman. I just don't believe it. I don't buy it. But it's also a completely different company. Maybe they want the shock factor. Maybe they want to do something that we would just completely. I mean, there's plenty of people in here who think that's going to happen. Um, but. I like what you're saying. Wise man's got. Oh, dang. Just Alex Lowkey hates this match. Dang. Mm -hmm. Dang, son. I don't love it. Dang, son. All right. Um. Oh, the other oh the other match I think he was talking about. All right, we got a super chat right here by Aaron Drew. Thank you so much, Thank Aaron you, Drew, Aaron. showing that love Appreciate circle you. message. I have John Chain winning this one at Crown Jewel, and they have a rematch of Survivor Series, and Solo wins that one. I like it. Okay. I like it a lot. Look, the actor strike is about to come to an end. If it hasn't already, I haven't turned on the news. They've been very close. They've got some sticking points. I said it. Once the actors go back to work, John Cena's going to pull back. He's going to pull back and he's going to pull out. And it's always important to pull out. Jack Geno. But I do see him as Survivor Series, regardless. I like this run back. I believe in that. Thank you, Aaron Drew, for that super chat very, very much. Um... Michael Tolbert's got Roman. James got Roman. Fareed's got Roman. Three Diglas, Roman, of course. J.R. Dugan's got Roman. Roman Reigns, no question. Jeffrey likes LA Knight, but he's saying Roman's for the win. No contest. Aquaman next. Dang, Aquaman. Good gracious. I ain't calling him Aquaman. So just Alex said, nah, I mean, Roman versus LA because I know LA has to lose, and that puts him in a situation where he could lose all this momentum. No, I agree with you. That's why I don't like the match either because the reality is that LA Knight did get over this far without the company pushing him, and so what they should be doing is giving him shots at titles that are realistic. You didn't put Gunther straight to Roman, and y'all know that match would be fire and all the momentum he had that he never even lost. 
So why would you just skip LA Knight over all the other titles straight to the world title? I know they did that with Rhea, but then they took it back. I mean, well, they gave her the title shot. They didn't give her the title right away. But I'm just saying, hmm. I just don't see. I, I, I agree that he has to lose. It, it wouldn't make sense. It wouldn't make sense to the story. You know, just Alex also, he has an interesting point in regards to protecting LA Knight's momentum. Um, well, that's what I just said. Well, no, I had to, I had to oh. put that out there. And, and, I, and, I, and I see what you guys are talking about. <clears throat> My answer to that is they should care. I don't think they do. Maybe Triple H does. Maybe. But my question is, at Crown Jewel, who is steering the creative ship? Yeah, that is the question. You had one of the biggest stars, a man that built AEW, come back to the WWE. All momentum. My man ripped his freaking pectoral muscle from the bone and still wrestles in a Hell in a Cell match. Mm -hmm. He had all the momentum in the world. And look who he is wrestling right. at one of the biggest, biggest pay per views of the year. We all go, whoa, when his music hits, we all do it. The crowd loves him. He's been all over the place. LA Knight has hella momentum right now. I don't think it's enough, and I don't think they care. There's probably going to be some eyesight interference, although Roman can win clean. He's been doing that. But it's more he'll like to have interference. But who? Solo's got his hands full. I think Jimmy's going to be involved in that match. I don't necessarily think he's going to get involved in two matches, but you never know. You never know. Um, but Roman know is going to retain the title. I don't think Roman wants to have anyone say that he needed help against LA Knight. He's probably going to be like, y'all do not come out there. Technically speaking, Roman Reigns has been undefeated. He did have a loss as part of a tag match. Right. Roman Reigns will not lose his title at Crown Jewel. No. But will Roman Reigns win the match? Yes. I don't know. Well, then, make you stake your claim. I'm saying Roman Reigns will retain his title. That's all I got. That's all I got. Because... LA Knight can come out. He can cut a promo the next night. He'll be fine. It's a question of where will he go from here? He had, he went up to the, to the top of the ladder with the bullet. Just, -choo! you can't get no higher than this. Yeah. So he fails. He loses. Where does LA Knight go from here? That momentum that we're talking about. I don't know. I don't know. I need to think about this a little more. But right now, I'm simply going to say Roman retains his his championship. Three Douglas with a super chat right here. Big circle message. Roman the hunk reigns. Did you just say that? Did you tell Three Douglas <laughs> to say that? No, nah, I don't need to tell nobody to say that. Roman the hunk will smash the night of Los Angeles into smithereens. You said smithereens. I love that word. The only thing LA Knight winning is a pink slip. Dang, son. Wow. He ain't getting no pink slip, but I thank you for that super chat. Wow. Yeah. Thank you. Um, so, let me see. So, uh, so you're, so you're going <clears throat> with not losing the title, but losing the match. I'm going with this. Undertaker had a 20-year streak at WrestleMania that did not need to get broken, especially not broken by somebody also part-time. It didn't do Undertaker any good. It didn't do Brock Lesnar any good. What happened? What happened? Undertaker comes back, racks up some more wins. 
You ask Taker, he didn't want to lose, but he, like Cody, are company men. They'll do whatever you tell them to do, so whether you they think agree with about it or to not. Make that mistake again. What I am saying is that he took that loss. You you snapped twenty years in an instant, and yet he was able to move on. I think the same for Roman Reigns. I think at this pay per view, and I think at this stage in the Bloodlines game. Because the bloodline is just a hot mess still. And Jimmy just running crazy. Roman Reigns retains the title, but LA Knight wins the match. Kill Dixon said LA Knight wins because Randy Orton cost Roman Reigns the match. I mean, that's interesting. It's all interesting. I I, I just, nah, it's I'm at Roman versus LA because I know, oh yeah, I got you, Jess Alex. I got you. You lose all the momentum. Yeah, I, I, I don't want to see anybody who has momentum lose it. But mm -hmm. we, that's one piece of consistency I think we can all say with WWE. They have a real tendency to do a hard stop. Hard stop. On people that seem to be on a trajectory up. Well, look, so like Happy Death said that even it would be an explosive reaction, but it would be short-lived. I think the same thing. I think it would just be like a live thing. You, everyone would go crazy within a few weeks. I don't know. I don't know. I can see LA Knight being champion, but you cannot possibly tell me that he would sooner get that title before Cody Rhodes. Let's just think about that for a second. Mm -hmm. That would be insane. That would be insane. But I think at this point, Roman can take an L, especially if there's some kind of shenanigans. And that will further put that wedge in the bloodline. Maybe Jimmy will come out. Who knows? But heck, 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 maybe even Jimmy comes out. Maybe even Jay comes out. Yeah, someone else said that, that Jimmy comes out, but then Jay come out to attack Jimmy running him off so Roman don't have help. You know? That would be interesting. It could be. That Call Roman be Reigns to smash. Call Roman Reigns to smash. Wait, 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 wait. What? Paul yeah. Hammer said, Call Roman Reigns to smash. me. Wow. You nasty. Joffrey said if Roman's not going to be a Survivor Series, I mean, give it to LA Knight. Roman is not going to be at most of the shows these days. Mm -hmm. He doesn't even do all the pay-per-views. I mean, but they're not taking that belt from him right now. I don't buy that. No, there's no way. I just don't. I said it right, Three Digs. I got you. Thanks. To, yep. I got I, I feel like we right did there. a good job this time. Yeah. We said we were just going to be in here for an hour, and we wrapped everything up in an hour, y'all. Yeah. Yeah, I think that's it. Roman ain't losing in Saudi freaking Arabia. Yeah, I know that's true. That's true. I know that's true. So I think looking, so we'll wrap up. I think looking at all these matches, there are some definite, huh? Mm -hmm. Matches in here. What? You know what I mean? Yeah. Um, you got to get the show kicked off right. They did it with NXT Halloween Havoc Night 2. That first match was fire. That last match was fire. The way they ended that match, though, it was weird because you had Trick Daddy Williams Picking up Mello. It looked like something was about to happen. Then all of a sudden. That was so awful. They go backstage. And Barry Corman is taking it to Ilya Dragunov. And you're just like, wait, what, what? What happened? Someone changed the channel? That's my <laughs> concern. That you you started good. JD is good. Sammy is good. That sets the tone. I have high expectations for these matches for everybody to do work. I'm just wondering what the end end is going to be for that main event. Arcel World, where you been at, man? Good to see hey. you. So just, Alex, we're going to wrap up with your question. What are your thoughts about Roman Reigns only having 51 title uh, matches, defense matches in over three years? Not a lot of people are happy about that. You know, I think, Thank you, so honestly, this is my answer to that. Do I like that Roman is, is not around a lot? doesn't have to defend no but he is that good he is the entire package and he has written his contract in such a way because he is on the level he's on and when someone else is ready to take his spot and can take his spot and can bring the kind of numbers he could bring they could do whatever contract they want to do. The reality is, and we could tell you by our numbers and just Alex, you probably could tell us by your numbers too. If we're doing something where Roman is involved, a uh, pay-per-view where Roman's, you know, his, it's involved like his reaction videos. 
our views are way up and beyond. And LA Knight and Jimmy, they weren't getting no views on our channel. And when he switched it to Roman, everybody want to watch the video. That's the reality. Love him or hate him. He's bringing in the views, which is what matters. So he could, you know, he could negotiate. And to be honest with you, I'm at the same thing at my job. People, I have a freedom that a lot of people hate on at my job. But the reality is I earned it. I earned it. I, I didn't. I started at the bottom and I worked my way up and I could say, this is what I'm willing to give you. And if my boss is accepted and I accept it, it doesn't matter what anyone else thinks. So at the end of the day, if WWE accepts it and Roman is. I mean, it should matter what we think, but I, I I'm not going to hate on him for that. There we go. My highest view videos involve Roman Reigns. That's what I'm saying. We don't have anybody who's bringing those kind of levels. Oh, okay. So says Anthony, I hear you. I agree with you, but I also got to disagree with you. Oh, I, already boy. Know. I already know you do. I, I got to disagree with you, too, because it's not the same. I know it's a different time. It's a different era. I like the era of the wrestlers cut from a different cloth. It's gone. I understand that. But it's really, really super easy to be like, hey, a thousand day rain. When you're taking a month off here, a month off there, there a month, there a month, everywhere a month, month. Feel what I'm saying? Versus Backlund, versus Hogan, versus Macho Man, versus Orton, versus Cena, who are always showing up okay, unless you you're this. injured. Let me ask you this. So he defended it 51 times in the last couple years. Do you think in between those absences, because those absences came later, right? Do you think in between those absences, there was someone there in the few months that you thought could have took that title from him? Little Jimmy. That's your answer. That's your answer. Little Jimmy. All day. Even if they had to wait to the next pay-per-view to fight him, it still would have been the same person who he was fighting. And they lost at the pay-per-view and they would have lost in between. Little Jimmy, dog. That's who it could have been. Mosey, the wrestling god. Thank you for joining us. We appreciate it, and we will be back for yes. a live watch along. Dro, you said LA Knight wins because of Paul turning on Roman, and that is the plot twist. No friggin' way. No friggin' way. Uh uh. <laughs> mm -mm. Nah, big dog. I gotta disagree with you on that, homeboy. Mm -mm. Just Alex giving you some props, and wise man, smash that like button, y'all. That's it. Our predictions for WWE Crown Jewel 2023 in Saudi Arabia. I'm actually pretty interested in how these matches are going to turn out. Yeah. You know what I mean? Especially for the ladies. The ladies have come a long way since they first premiered. I think it was, in fact, Natalia and Lacey Evans, right? I think they were the first ladies to wrestle in Saudi oh, Arabia. Oh, yeah, I think so. Right? So... Yeah, I'm, I'm really, 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 really curious to see how things are going to get down. We got our last super chat of the night by three diglets. That's how we get down with the get down right here. Got a gut feeling. Lesnar will eventually be thrown Roman. I got to disagree, homeboy. <laughs> I got to disagree. I can see it. You got two part timers. You had this man break a 20 year streak. Think about that. 20 years. If it ain't Cody, I can see it. I don't like it, but I can see it. Kevin Owens had four opportunities. Brock had three opportunities, etc. Yep. Happy days, Anthony. We love you too. Roland, Joffrey, just Alex, Tony, Connor, Curran, everybody in here. We are so grateful that you guys came discuss this with us and we hope that means we are going to see you again on saturday so it's 10 o'clock in the morning pacific standard time for us um i don't know how long this pay-per-view is going to so be one eastern huh yeah this is this is going to be interesting we're going to have some food we're going to have some vegan food up in here uh we may you know we may maybe we'll do the jamba again let's do the jamba Maybe. It's pumpkin smash time, y'all. Vegan pumpkin smash. Thank you so much to our mod squad. Thank you to those that super chatted. Thank you to our members. Thank you to just Alex of Alex's World for always showing us the love that you do. 
And thank you to everybody who just popped in here from all around the world and all across the country. Honestly, 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 say it every time. We would not be here if it wasn't for you. We hope that we are number one in your hearts as you are number one in ours. This one's for you. It's on the line, y'all. So come back for some more A and B combos, wrestling, wrestling edition. edition, Bone Crusher. I don't even know where she's at. Bone Crusher. All right, she ain't coming back. All right, y'all. We'll see y'all Saturday for the live watch along. Thank you. God bless you. And in honor of Piper Niven, we bid you. Oh, do do. Good night, everybody. <laughs>